Hi, this is Dave Phillippe with FabCAD, and thank you for the opportunity to allow me to show you some of the new changes coming with FabCAD 2018. So, we have some general CAD enhancements and some auto rail enhancements I want to show you. Let's start off with some of the CAD enhancements first. I'm going to bring up this railing here. I don't know if you've experienced this, but if you've been working on a, a railing or a piece of an, an, any kind of assembly and part of it goes off the screen and you're, in, and you're trying to execute a command and you find out that the, uh, what's off the screen is not affected by what you're trying to do, that things just don't work right. So I can, let me just show what I'm talking about. I'm going to bring up an older version of FabCAD, actually this is FabCAD 2017, and I'm going to stretch this railing down six inches. So I'm going to go stretch and if I needed to zoom in or pan and go all the way across this long railing here and then go down six inches you notice everything that was not on the screen when I executed the command was not affected. So that's been fixed with 2018 so what we basically have now is that all off-screen selections stay selected which will save you a lot of grief okay so let me show you let's go back in here and let's stretch this one and I'm going to zoom in and pan off the screen and then go down six inches here and voila everything stretches so that is one of those kind of improvements that come with upgrades that are almost worth the price of the upgrade itself so you can stay close in to make sure that you're stretching the thing properly or whatever the operation that you're trying to work if it happens to go off the screen it doesn't matter anymore the command will be executed and it, everything off the screen will be affected by that particular command in 2017, we had an enhancement uh, called rubber band. I'm going to show you that in 2017 and then show you the improvements in 18. So, say I want to move some of this here. I'll move this. You'll notice that there's a rubber band on there, but it's, it's a gold color. Now, if I bring it over, if I zoom, you can see there's a it's very hard to see with the back screen background that I have here. So you couldn't change the color of it. So now with 18, I can go in here and I'll move this. And you notice I changed the color to magenta, which shows up. So depending on what your screen color background is, you can adjust the color of that little rubber band so you can see what's what's going on here. It's a slight enhancement, but it's a little visual aid that needed to be fixed. Now for those of you who don't have two, the current 2017 program, one of the great enhancements there was that you could insert a PDF as an actual drawing. So I brought this PDF in, and so you notice that the items in here are AutoCAD entities. I can actually stretch that column, so I'm going to do that. Okay. Now try doing that with a PDF underlay. You can't. You can even, look at this, I'll click on the hatch. And you can stretch the hatches too. So that was new in 2017, and it's a tremendous improvement. One of the things that they didn't do was, Autodesk didn't do when they created this, was that the text when it came in was all individual polylines, like an exploded text. The 2018 version, it, the text comes in as actual text, so you can go in and edit. So you see the text box comes up here, so you can you can edit it. And then they added another tool, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to go to the Insert tab here, and it's called Combine Text. So I want to click that, and so up here we have a lot of single line text, individual. I can combine all that into one text box by doing combined text. Makes things a lot easier to edit. Okay, so that's a nice little feature there also. Also in 2018, the drawing file format has changed. 
That's normally done every three years. The last time it was done was in 2013. This year, they've changed the file format. So anybody that sends you a drawing from uh, AutoCAD 2018 or FabCAD 2018, you'll be able to open that drawing because you'll be compatible with the new file format. Now, if you're dealing with people who don't have the latest versions, you can, you can automatically set up FabCAD 2018 to save the drawing as a 13. So I'll just go in here to open and save. And you see you have the 2018 as default setting, but then I can change it and, and have it automatically save as a 2013 format drawing by just going to the uh, options dialog box, going to open and save, and change the save as to whatever version of AutoCAD. I can go all the way back down to LT 98, 97. Kind of crazy, isn't it? Now we have some cool enhancements to the AutoRail program. So let's click on the gate program right now. And right away you'll see there's a horizontal option here. And so I'm going to import a template. So if you do louvers or grills or shutters or you have some kind of a custom fabrication for like a privacy screen or something that's it's made out of horizontal members, then uh, you can do that now with Fabcad. So I'm going to just draw this louver that I created and you can see here you can adjust the the vertical heights of the side pieces if you need to and then I'm just going to click draw and it generates the louver. There is the louver there and you notice also it generates a side view of the gate. That's also new. And then you have your louvers there. We have the same feature available in the fence program. Okay, so I click on horizontal member here and you can do the same thing here with privacy fencing or if you do ranch fencing or stuff like that or uh, cow fencing, sometimes you can use pipe, you use horizontals for that. You can use a railing program too, but now you can also use the fence program to generate those horizontal fence members. Another feature of the gate program is that you can adjust the bottom of the gate now with this custom sketch. I'm just, just generating a rectangle here and I'll just drag this up. Okay, so I go to the gate program. I'm going to import some materials, uh, standard gate, and I'm going to use custom sketch. Click draw. Next. Draw. Use default. And this is going to draw a gate with a sloped bottom. So if you have a sloped driveway you're dealing with, then you can use the custom sketch feature with a sloped bottom to achieve that. This is a very popular wish list item from you, the customer. Those of you with older versions of FabCAD, I recommend you go to YouTube and go in the search box in YouTube and type in FabCAD 2017 and then FabCAD 2016 if you if you, if you have a version older than that to see all the enhancements that are involved with those upgrades uh, prior to this one. What, a couple of things that are pretty cool uh, are some new snaps like snap to geometric center. So for instance I'm going to draw let me just draw a, a polygon here. I'll make a six-sided okay and I am going to draw a circle from the geometric center. Is that cool? So there's your nut for a bolt. Pretty easy. So like drawing a line from the geometric center. Okay, and it can be any polygon shape. If you do a poly you draw I'll just do it real quick, polyline. When I draw a line, it's going to give me the geometric center of that entity I just drew right there. Is that cool or what? Also, let me bring in a collar here. All right, and I'm going to move that collar to the center of this picket, but I'm going to do it in the center of the center of the picket. We have another snap. It's called snap between two points. So the way that works, let me just show you here real quick and then I'll move the collar down here. 
If I draw a line and I say snap between two midpoints, I go down here and I pick the midpoint there and the midpoint there. Notice where the line originates from. It comes in the distance between them. In ornamental detailing, we have a lot of double lines, right? So this is, comes in real handy for something like this. So I go up here and get this collar, and I move this collar from the midpoint here, and then I take it down and go snap between two midpoints there and there. A collar is dead center on the picket. Okay, not cool. Okay. So the pricing of the upgrades, of course, depends on what current version you have. You can call us at 800 number 800-255-9032, and we'll give you the price. Or you can go on our website and go to pricing and ordering, and at the bottom of the pricing table, you will see the upgrade prices there for you. If you have any other questions about the features on this software or how what kind of features are new compared to what you have on your current version? We'll be happy to go over that with you. Again, we thank you for your business in the past, and take care.